we're also approaching the NFL trade deadline. You've been right there on the front with the Miami Dolphins and the Deshaun Watson rumors. And, you know, today you were told that Flores shared the message that Tua is their QB. But, you know, we're a few days away. Do you think he will remain the Dolphins QB after the deadline? That's the question of the week, right? That's why I'm yep. here. <laughs> so, here. I, I think that people are frustrated here in Miami that Flores hasn't said more and said, hey, no, we're not trading for him. That's not mm -hmm. his style of, of way. He's not going to do a Mike Tomlin and, and go never say never. Um, that's just not how he does things. But I do think the Dolphins have had talks with the with the Texans. Um, but I don't believe that it's a guarantee that Deshaun Watson gets traded from the deadline. I've seen a lot of these reports, um, but I think there's still a lot of complications when it comes to compensation when it comes to the legal mm -hmm. issues that's going on with Deshaun and there's six days left so I, at this point I think that somebody is going to have to change um, their ask you know the Texans are going to have to go down on what they're asking for the mm -hmm. Dolphins are going to have to go up or become more comfortable with what's going on with Deshaun um, because at this time I've been told that nothing is imminent so you know we're six days away and you know deadlines spur action. So maybe that happens in this situation. But I think there's a very real chance that we're sitting here the Wednesday after the trade deadline and Deshaun Watson still a Houston Texan. Yeah. And you mentioned earlier a couple of times that Miami is your biggest disappointment this season because, you yeah. know, this was supposed to be a step forward for Miami and Brian Flores. You know, they're one in six now. Why is this so surprising to you? What do you think is not clicking? It's got to be more than just the QB, right? Yeah, it's way more than the QB. I mean, Tua got hurt earlier this year, which didn't help, so he missed a few games. But the biggest part of this disappointment to me has been the defense. This is a defense that they were a borderline top five group last year. Xavier Howard had 10 interceptions. He was in the running for Defensive Player of the Year. And this year, they've been below average. Teams have been figuring them out. Um, they've been really basic in what they've been doing. And honestly, they've been outcoached some games. You know, the game they lost to Jacksonville, that was a, a bad, bad loss, mm -hmm. losing to a team that had lost 20 sec consecutive games. And Urban Meyer just flat out outcoached Brian Flores in that game. So I think mm -hmm. that it's been a few things offensively. They've been out of sync. Um, you know, the, the couple of receivers they brought in and, and Will Fuller um, and Jalen Waddle haven't had the impact they thought. Will Fuller's been hurt all season. He hasn't had any impact. And Jalen Waddle has been used more as a possession receiver. And they still have one of the worst offensive lines in the league. So I think it's a combination of their talent just not being as good as maybe we thought, but also just, you know, whether it's coaching or player playing, they played below their expectations. So it, it's frustrating for Dolphins fans because mm -hmm. this is year three of the, their rebuild. They thought this was heading towards, you know, the right direction, 10 and six last year. We're trending up and now yep. you're one and six and you're one of the worst teams in the league. So there's a lot of yeah. questions here in Miami. Um, you know, how are we going to fix this? Is Brian Flores the right guy to, to lead us? Is Chris Greer the right guy? So yeah. before we get to whether they trade Deshaun Watson or not, I think that they've got to figure out how to fix the rest of this roster because whether Deshaun Watson is here or not, this team is not good enough to make a playoff run this year or anytime soon. So um, a lot of work <laughs> to be done here in Miami, which has sort of been the story for the last 20 yeah. years. 